Hi, and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to, to perform the principal component analysis in, uh, in R Studio. And uh, as you know, the principal component analysis is a uh, method of uh, dimensional reduction in, uh, that is used in order to, uh, to summarize information content in a database containing uh, many variables in uh, such uh, in some individual. So in this uh, tutorial, we have a uh, data set in uh, containing uh, information related to the uh, household. And uh, we have, uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, we have 12 households with information on the revenue, the uh, consumption expenditure, we have a uh, number of household members, we have the professional experience in here, we have as well a uh, level of study. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to, uh, you can use the principal component analysis in order to uh, to uh, summarize individual characteristics according to uh, the uh, realization, realization of some variables. So, uh, for uh, uh, already import my data set, we have uh, uh, first of all to define the, uh, the variable in which uh, that we are going to use in order to uh, run our principal component analysis. And for this uh, purpose, I have. Uh, I will uh, generate a variable, a, a variable, uh, a matrix called data by concatenating a uh, variable like uh, used in my uh, data set, like uh, revenue. Uh, I will concatenate revenue, consumption expenditure, number of household member, uh, professional experience in the year, and uh, level of study. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, primary, secondary, and uh, uh, high, higher education. So coming back in our uh, package, uh, we'll first of all uh, use the concatenation. We'll uh, concatenate uh, our different variables as I said, using uh, the command cbind, uh, cbind uh, base, or uh, uh, meaning that we're going to use the data set this uh, dollar sign, uh, which is uh, followed by the name of our first uh, variable, which is the revenue. So uh, our second variable is uh, consumption expenditure. We use the uh, base dollar followed by the name of the variable and so on for all other variables. So I will use this command uh, in order to concatenate my uh, my different uh, variable. So uh, here is a command. So uh, it's the first time you are watching one of my videos. Do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I click on uh, well as well as uh, activate, activating the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. So uh, in uh, principal component analysis, one uh, package is required. So the package required in Principal component analysis is uh, factor mine R. So factor mine R is a package that you need to install in your R Studio if you want to uh, perform the principal component analysis. And here is a command to install uh, install dot uh, packages uh, brackets uh, factor min into uh, quotation mark. So uh, as you have uh, installed your uh, Package factor mine R. Just use uh, charge or library in R uh, in R Studio. So uh, the package uh, factor mine R is already uh, charged in my R Studio. The first step is to perform uh, properly the principal component analysis, and I will give it my the name uh, result dot PCA for a result of principal component analysis that I will assign the value uh, of the function that is used to uh, perform the principal component analysis PCA uh, bracket. The first parameter is the uh, data set that I use, that is data, which is the concatenation of uh, my diff the different variable of my uh, data set. And we have graph is equal to uh, false. So 
uh, select the uh, principal component analysis implementation and then click on run and the principal component analysis method have been uh, implemented in my uh, attitude so the next steps are just to uh, uh, perform the uh, Hagen values computing we have to visualize uh, as well as uh, as well uh, variable with the same variable so first of all let us uh, uh, compute the uh, uh, Hagen value of um, our uh, of our principal component analysis by using the command rest dot PCA dollar because my uh, principal component analysis results is called rest dot PCA so I follow the name of our uh, principal component analysis by the dollar symbol and pay for uh, Hagen value so then uh, we select our command and then click on run and our uh, Hagen value have been computed and you can see that the first component uh, Hagen value is uh, 3.3.3 uh, 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 representing uh, 70 as uh, almost 70 percent of uh, the cumulative variance uh, of uh, the second component uh, principal Hagen value is uh, 1.05 representing uh, more than 20 percent of uh, of uh, cumulative percentage of variance so uh, here is our uh, Hagen uh, value percentage we can as well uh, represent uh, the Hagen value uh, visualize our Hagen value by using the uh, by representing a bar plot using the command uh, Hagen value uh, uh, PCA uh, uh, bar uh, by using our bar chart uh, bar plot uh, is the command then we just select it and then click on run and we see in our uh, right hand side uh, the um, variance explained by PCA here is the first component that represents almost 70% uh, of, uh, of variance. Second axis represents 20% uh, and the interpretation that we can uh, uh, have on this. Uh, we can also as well uh, represent the line, uh, add a line to our, uh, our uh, Hagen value uh, visualization. So we can see that there is a line that uh, uh, is used to uh, describe the evolution of uh, the decline of our, our principal component and our, our principal axis, principal component, and the interpretation for our uh, Hagen value uh, that uh, the, uh, the third, the third axis, the third component have a. Uh, A Hagen value that is less than average uh, Hagen value, meaning that the, uh, we can uh, just uh, use the first two components because uh, the third component uh, represent less than a average uh, variance of the uh, of our sample. So we just use the uh, first two components in order to analyze our our. Um, our individual so uh, as we have just uh, plot a uh, Hagen value uh, graph you can just uh, represent the individual graph by plotting the uh, individual graph using the plot for uh, uh, our principal component analysis uh, result uh, using uh, the choice is uh, individual or IE IND for individual auto uh, uh, auto lab is yes. Then we click on run, and we can see that our uh, our individual will uh, just be represented in the uh, left hand side of our R Studio interface. So we have a representation of our individual that are uh, uh, just uh, in the uh, 
first uh, the first two component, the first plan. So we have uh, we can uh, have a group of uh, according to our uh, graph, uh, individual graph. We can uh, set two uh, principal group of individual. The first group is uh, the one on the left hand side, and we can also have a second group of individual here according to the uh, to the characteristics. So we can. Uh, uh, as well plot the uh, correlation cycle, cycle representing the uh, correlation between variables using plot uh, result principal component analysis. Uh, uh, schwa is equal to uh, var for variable uh, plot. So then we click on run and the correlation cycle will uh, appear in the left hand side of our R studio interface and we can just interpret our variable. You can see that variable 1 and variable 2, variable 1, variable 2 and 5 are uh, highly correlated and well represent in the uh, in the first uh, plan, first plan because uh, the uh, arrow are very close to the, to the circle, the correlation is high and what is variable uh, Two, one, two, and five. Variable one, two, and five. Our variable one is the revenue. Variable two is uh, consumption expenditure. Revenue and consumption expenditure are highly correlated. We have uh, a variable five, which is uh, professional experience, that is uh, highly correlated to uh, the revenue and. Uh, Consumption expenditure. So uh, most you are you are you have uh, uh, so no uh, variable five is a uh, level of uh, one two three four five level of study and level of study. Uh, the most you are level of study is higher. The uh, your revenue is uh, also higher and uh, uh, consumption expenditure are uh, uh, involved the same uh, manner so uh, but we can notice that our variable two and three are negatively uh, correlated but negatively and what, what are variable two, uh, two and three our variable two and three are uh, consumption expenditure and number of member household household member so household member are uh, highly correlated but negatively so let us come back in our principal component analysis uh, result. We can uh, present uh, information uh, for uh, individual by using the common uh, result variable by uh, assigning to the result variable uh, the value uh, res dot pca uh, dollar sign uh, variable. So uh, r result dot PCA is the result of our PCA. We follow it by the dollar sign and bar to mean that uh, we can assign to that the result of uh, our different bar. Let us select that and click on run. And we have the result of our variable and we can represent, uh, for example, the coordinate of uh, our uh, variable on the uh, different component. So uh, as we have uh, run this command, we can see that uh, uh, variable have very uh, high in absolute value uh, uh, coordinate in the first axis. Uh, uh, all variable, uh, but not uh, variable four. But variable four have uh, also higher coordinate in the dimension two. So. Uh, that confirm the fact that uh, dimension one and two can be used in order to uh, represent our our individual. So we can also have the result for the uh, contribution of uh, individual on uh, as we are on variable. We can have the uh, contribution of variable on the different uh, component uh, result dot bar dollar sign country to say that we. Uh, we uh, compute the uh, contribution of uh, our variable result 
on the different axes and you can see that uh, the results are here. So the contribution of individual variable two, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 5 are very higher in the uh, first dimension. But uh, variable 4 that is very uh, slow in the first dimension is very well uh, contribute uh, highly in the second axis. So uh, they, they can also confirm the, the, the information that uh, we, uh, the first two axes are sufficient to uh, summarize all the information in our database. So we, if we want to come to uh, bring, for example, a, an indicator using our data set to uh, classify our individual, we must we can use only uh, the first two uh, the first two components in order to uh, to analyze to compute our indicator. So uh, we can also uh, have the quality of uh, uh, the representation of our variable in axis using the uh, cosine square uh, that is uh, also a result of of our variable followed by the dollar symbol and cos to, uh, to materialize the cos square of uh, cosinus square of our our individual of our variable in the uh, axis. So uh, you can also notice that uh, variable one, two, three, and five uh, highly contributed to the first axis, first dimension. Uh, and the variable for that have a very uh, weak uh, contribution to the uh, first dimension, contribute uh, very highly to the second, our uh, second dimension. So we can also confirm here the uh, information that uh, the first two dimension can be, uh, the first two axes can be returned in our uh, principal component analysis as we have presented the uh, in the uh, individual result, you can also, or the variable result, you can also represent individual result by, uh, first of all, computing individual result called uh, res.ind, uh, uh, to which we assign the uh, value result uh, for uh, PCA followed by the dollar symbol and uh, I, the reserve word IND to say that. Here is uh, the result for the uh, individual of our principal component analysis. For the result of our principal component analysis, we can run. You can see that the uh, result of individual for our principal component analysis have been already computed. We have a look at the uh, coordinate of our individual on the axis. So let me come run. We have the coordinate of all our, our 12 individual on the uh, first two axes. So we can also interpret as uh, we did it for our variable. We can also have the contribution of our uh, individual on the axis as we did it for our variable. And you can see that there are some individuals that are well represented that have contribute highly to the first axis, but those who have a with a slow contribution to the first axis, uh, have uh, generally a good contribution to the uh, to the second axis. So uh, you can also have the cosine square for uh, for individual, as we did it for the uh, uh, for the. Uh, for variable, we have you can notice that all our individual are uh, well represent in the dimension, in the first dimension of our principal component analysis. So that's it for this uh, video, and we hope this video have very well help you understand how to uh, implement the principal component analysis in, uh, in our studio. In the next video, we show you uh, how to come deeper in the analysis and if you are new in this channel do not hesitate to subscribe to the youtube channel by uh, clicking on the red button and activating the notification bell in order not to not to lose the next uh, publication so anytime soon